Thank you very much. Thank you, uh, organizers, for giving me a chance to share my ideas with you. Maybe not ideas, but uh, my struggle with this material. Uh, after so many presentations about which is own film or how it is different between this uh, different region, I decided to skip part of my presentation uh, because I will repair that. So and yes. This uh, map we already have, so I won't uh, comment it, but my uh, test area is uh, Szczecin Lowland. It is area on both sides of Lower Oder River and uh, Szczecin Lagoon and Pomeranian Bay. So it is both sides of contemporary Polish-German border. Uh, it's here, the, the three different views of this area, it's northern part, northwestern part of Poland. And in fact, in fact it is a northwestern area of margin of Urnfield area, Lusatian area. So that's why I have a problem with this material. Uh, I was trained in Great Poland and on Silesian mater material, so working with Pomeranian material, I was shocked how different they are from inland tradition in terms of style, ritual, and uh, temp temporal changes. And going back to archival materials, I was confronted with quite gloomy picture, uh, small-scale excavation, selective manner of publishing, if, all, if all already published materials, or excavating mm, very generalized views uh, and comments and theories based on mm, single observation, not repeatable. So what, what makes the story more gloomy is the fact that we have a retroubled history during the 20th century and the methodology was not, not comparable, comparable between researchers of this time. No, it's not in this. Ah, no, it's on, in this. Uh, before, uh, before I start, uh, we already heard that uh, Ornfield tradition is far from homogeneity. And uh, the Pomeranian is very, very different from this material. And before I start, also one quick uh, chronology remark. Uh, Saying late Bronze Age, I mean on um, usually fourth and fifth uh, Montalvis Bronze Age, because based on the Hort, Horts, this is something like this, comparable with the Northern uh, periodization. But with the early Iron Age, uh, I have a problem with Pomeranian materials because they are usually uh, materials that are connected with Goritzer group or Kurzyca group, uh, contemporary to Hallstatt C. But we don't have any Hallstatt style Hallstatt Sea style on Pomerania, so it's actually it's the flowering time of uh, Bronze Age, not the end, not something new. It's the continuation rather than something new, so I would like to push the border between Bronze and, and Iron Age a little bit closer to the uh, end of the first millennium before Christ. Okay, here is my test area with all materials I already have. These black dots are field surveys. There are a lot of points, but I won't uh, discuss this right now. But there is a lot of material, but very less information we can obtain from these materials. Uh, I tried to scratch the, the view that was uh, in our literature and we have here this uh, traditional way that on Stettin Lowland we have something that is really very close to, in, in terms of rituals, to uh, Urnfield. But for every the, of this point there is a uh, but. Uh, and I'm going to discuss it uh, in details. I try to look for long-lasting cemetery. And I have two. One is surely long-lasting, and the other it's hard to say. 
Uh, first one is uh, Vartin. Uh, Vartin was discovered uh, in late 19th uh, century. It is a barrow cemetery. And it, this cemetery was excavated uh, before Second World War and uh, soon after. Here we have a plan that was published in 1956, I think, summing up the previous uh, excavation outcomes based on the description on the map. This is a quite small area. It's approximately one square kilometer. And we have different kinds of materials here. We have a barrow cemetery. In fact, we have three groups of uh, graves, barrow graves. There is a one flat cemetery and there are some traces of settlement activity dated from Neolithic up to the end of the Bronze Age. So this area was uh, in use for, mo for more than 2000 years. Uh, based on the chronology of grave and settlement data, yeah, this is the, the, the thing I've said already. The older barrows, uh, early Bronze Age, Oh, this is the not Bronze Age. This is a long barrow of LBK. Uh, uh, yeah, sorry, not LBK, funeral beaker culture. We have also on this uh, group of, uh, on this uh, area, 18 inhumation graves uh, in the so stone cyst and without stone construction. They are here, they are uh, dated to the early Bronze Age. And then we have barrows. Not, not this. Barrows, uh, this barrows that are dated to uh, late phases of the early Bronze Age or Middle Bronze Age are uh, situated in this area, in the uh, northwestern part of this barrow group. Uh, also, we have uh, barrows that are connected with the Montelius Bronze Age 4 and 5. And during this uh, final phases of the Bronze Age, contemporary with the Harstadt Sea, there is a small flat uh, cemetery here, and the other group of flat graves uh, just near the, the biggest uh, barrow of the cemetery. And the biggest barrow is uh, connected, it is a barrow above Middle Bronze Age grave. So we have different tradition here. Uh, during uh, those barrows and flat cemeteries mostly covered uh, cremation grave. So it does something urnfield like. Uh, there are several types of grave. Grave in urn could be dug into the older barrow, dug into the space between the barrows and covered by a completely new barrow. Uh, the cremation seems to be a dominant way of disposing the dead. There is also a new group of graves, this small flat cemetery. This is also late Bronze Age. Uh, grave goods in this late Bronze Age phase of the cemetery are very scarce. Mostly we have here amphora type pot, urn, uh, with long cylindrical neck. Okay, yeah, this is the uh, fourth uh, stage of the cemetery based on the map. And then we have this final stage. Uh, I still don't, don't want to call it early Iron Age, but it is described as such. There are some uh, Iron Age metals, iron, excuse me, iron uh, metals or pieces of iron items in, inside the graves, but uh, still we have barrows over uh, cremation, cremation graves. And, uh, okay, this already I've told this. And the other cemetery I chose for uh, comparison is Dolice. Dolice, in fact, uh, there are two cemeteries in Dolice. Both cemeteries are placed on moraine ridge over small Ina, Mawa Ina river. Uh, Dolica 30 consists of uh, 20 barrows, of which only two were excavated and no surroundings around the, these barrows were excavated. So we don't know if there were any 
flat areas or not. And the uh, Dorica 40 cemetery uh, is even bigger. It com is, uh, consists of 80 barrows, but only eight was excavated and there was some excavation between uh, the barrows. So we have also information about 63 flat graves outside the barrows. Uh, barrows contained one centrally placed grave chamber with urn uh, grave. There was also secondary graves dug into the barrow slopes. Flat graves consist usually uh, of urn placed within the nest. Here is a group of so-called flat graves. It is a, a urn standing inside a stone circle or nest-like stone <coughs> structure. Uh, there are only two metal objects uh, within whole cemetery excavated, so there is very difficult. It is very difficult to build any chronological uh, line between this this graves. Uh, all I can say that on Pyrzice Plain, this is the place where the Dolice uh, site is. During the late stages of the Bronze Age, the idea of cover, covering cremation grave with the barrow is still present, but it's not the only form of the grave architecture as such. And other thing is that the cremation is the rule, seems to be rule without exception, but uh, we cannot, we don't have any skeletal remains dated to the late Bronze Age or with the materials that is contemporary with the late Bronze Age. So we are not able to verify the hypothesis that there was, or uh, in favor or against such a thesis that there was any other alternative uh, way of disposing the dead. Oh my God, three minutes left. Okay, so this is material from the Zdolice. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's the typical material of uh, of the Land Bronze Age, nothing special in that. And it's not very, very different from between the graves. So, so there's no any tips to build this uh, chronology scale. scale. Uh, OK, uh, in or not without it, we have different uh, graves. Most of them are in or there is a, uh, also hypothesis that uh, the, the earliest graves, crematory graves, uh, cremation graves were just uh, distributed, the remains were distributed over a uh, uh, grave button. But we have actually two very rich graves, the richest, I think. Uh, here we have one, it is in Banya. It was discovered in the early 20th century. With, there is a cremation grave when the rest are on the bottom of on the stone, stone paving and under the stone paving. In fact, there was no above, above ground structure above, uh, above this uh, grave. And there are uh, items, 62 item, bronze items that are similar to the style of the third and fourth uh, Bronze Age. There is another grave, less rich, I will say, with, uh, with the same scenario, we have uh, cremains distributed over the floor of the grave with some materials, but it's not very characteristic for chronology distribution. It's also something like for uh, Bronze Age, Montagnus Bronze Age. Most graves are just urn without, without any metal uh, elements. There are only one urn, sometimes there is some additional pot and some very, very few uh, fragments of thermally alterated bronze item, usually pin, but it's, it's hard to say for all uh, fragments. So going back to the question, urn fill or not, this question also has a long history and it's gloomy history. Uh, generally speaking, uh, it is something urn feel like. The cremation must have been linked ver with very attractive word view, and this word view was attractive enough for people on the lower order. 
So they, generally speaking, bought the idea, uh, adjusted to their own taste and uh, tradition. Uh, except for cremation with the scarcity of grave goods, other elements of the lower order mm, materials, I mean hordes and pottery style, are not so heavily linked, so so closely linked to on the toward. There are many traces that are connected with more northern uh, words, so I would say that it's southern Bardic, late Bronze Age. And thank you very much. Mm -hmm.